On the Roaring Indus River in Kohistan, Pakistan is building one of the tallest roller-compacted concrete dams in the world. The Dasu Hydropower Project stands at 242 meters high, with a crest length of 570 meters, a true engineering masterpiece designed to produce 4,320 megawatts of electricity. This dam will hold back a reservoir stretching 73 kilometers, with a gross storage capacity of 1.4 billion cubic meters of water enough to generate 21 billion kilowatt hours of energy annually once both stages are complete. The project's first stage, costing $4.2 billion, is set to begin power production by 2027. Funding comes from the World Bank, which has invested over $1.7 billion along with commercial banks and local contributions. Its massive infrastructure includes eight spillway gates, nine low-level outlets, and two diversion tunnels, making it a cornerstone for clean energy in Pakistan. But what makes this dam's turbines, tunnels, and cutting-edge spillway system capable of managing the raw power of the Indus River? Let's find out. Pakistan is a country with incredible potential, but faces a tough challenge, a growing demand for electricity. With millions relying on the power grid, the country struggles to keep the lights on for homes, businesses, and industries. The question is, how do you solve a problem this big, especially when the need for energy keeps increasing every year? That's where the Dasu Hydropower Project comes in a game changer, not just for electricity, but for the lives of millions. Now picture this, a massive dam rising high in the rugged mountains of Kohistan, surrounded by the roaring Indus River. This is where the magic begins. The Dasu Hydropower Project is located about 7 kilometers upstream of Dasu town in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. It's not just any dam. It's designed to be one of the largest hydropower plants in South Asia, capable of producing an astounding 4,320 megawatts of electricity when fully completed. That's enough to power cities and industries across the nation. Here's how it all started. The idea for this project was born back in 2001 as part of Pakistan's Vision 2025 plan. After years of planning and studies, construction began in 2017. The project is being built in two stages, with the first stage already underway. When this stage is complete, it will generate 2160 megawatts of clean, green electricity annually, enough to light up millions of homes while cutting down reliance on costly fuel imports. And once both stages are done, Dasu will stand tall as the biggest energy producer in the country. But it's not just about electricity. Dasu is creating thousands of jobs, boosting the local economy, and building roads and housing in this remote region. It's transforming lives and bringing developments to areas that were often overlooked. People in nearby communities are gaining access to new opportunities, and the project promises long-term benefits for the entire country. So what makes this dam so special? What engineering marvels are hidden behind its towering walls and winding tunnels? That's where the real story begins. The Dasu Hydropower Project isn't your ordinary dam. Standing at a massive 242 meters high and stretching 570 meters along its crest, it will become one of the tallest roller-compacted concrete dams in the world. Think about that for a moment. It's like stacking a 60-story building in the middle of a river. But it's not just size that makes it impressive. The entire design is built for power, efficiency, and sustainability. Let's break it down. First, imagine a river as powerful as the Indus. To harness its strength, engineers constructed two enormous diversion tunnels on the left bank of the river. These tunnels, over 1.5 kilometers long each, are like giant water highways, rerouting the Indus temporarily so workers could safely build the dam. Once completed, the dam will create a reservoir stretching 73 kilometers upstream 
with enough storage capacity to hold over 1.4 billion cubic meters of water. That's an unimaginable amount of energy waiting to be unleashed. Here's how it works. Water from the reservoir will flow through four massive head race tunnels, each shaped like a giant cylinder, into the underground powerhouse. This powerhouse is a cavern carved into the rock, big enough to fit several football fields. Inside, it holds the heart of the project, six state-of-the-art turbines in Stage 1, each capable of generating 360 megawatts of electricity. These turbines spin when water rushes through them, converting the river's raw power into clean, green energy. And this is just the beginning. Stage 2 will add another set of six turbines, doubling the energy output to 4,320 megawatts. But how do you control such a massive flow of water? That's where the spillways and low-level outlets come in. The dam has eight spillway gates and nine low-level outlets, all built to handle the river's full force during floods. These outlets aren't just regular holes. They're engineered with advanced radial gates that can control how much water is released. To keep the reservoir functioning smoothly, there are also two flushing tunnels designed to clear out sediment that naturally builds up over time. It's like giving the dam a regular cleaning so it keeps running efficiently for decades. The technical precision doesn't stop there. After spinning the turbines, the water doesn't just stay trapped. It's channeled back into the Indus through four trail race tunnels, each nearly three kilometers long. This ensures the river's flow continues downstream without interruption, keeping ecosystems alive and communities reliant on the river intact. Even the construction itself is a marvel. The dam uses roller compacted concrete, a special type of concrete that's poured and pressed layer by layer to create a structure strong enough to withstand immense pressure. Over 4 million cubic meters of this concrete will be used. To put it into perspective, that's enough material to build a road stretching hundreds of kilometers. Then there's the transmission system. What good is all this energy if it can't reach people? Engineers have designed a 500 kilovolt transmission line running parallel circuits for over 250 kilometers to carry the electricity to the national grid. This ensures power generated in the mountains lights up homes, factories, and schools across the country. And let's not forget the human side. Building this dam isn't just about power, it's about progress. Thousands of jobs have been created, with many going to local workers. Roads, bridges, and new housing have been built to support the workforce and improve the surrounding area. The project includes a resettlement program for families impacted by the construction, ensuring they benefit from the developments rather than being left behind. What about the cost? The Dasu Hydropower Project's first stage carries an estimated cost of $4.2 billion, a monumental figure requiring diverse funding sources. The World Bank has been a critical partner, providing $700 million in financing specifically for infrastructure and the 765 kilovolt transmission line that will distribute the power generated. Additionally, an International Development Association credit of $588.4 million and a partial credit guarantee of $460 million from the World Bank have further bolstered the financial structure. In June 2024, the World Bank approved another $1 billion in financing to ensure timely progress, particularly for land acquisition and advanced construction stages. This collaborative funding effort ensures not just the construction of the dam, but also the extensive transmission and resettlement infrastructure necessary for its operation. While the price tag is enormous, the expected output of clean, affordable, and sustainable energy makes it a viable investment in Pakistan's future. The dam is expected to begin producing power by 2027, with the first stage generating over 12 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually. When stage two is complete, the total output will reach an astonishing 21 billion kilowatt hours. That's enough energy to significantly reduce the country's reliance on fossil fuels and cut down on costly energy imports.
But this project isn't just about solving today's problems. It's about building a future. A future where energy is cleaner, more affordable, and more reliable. A future where remote areas benefit from development and communities thrive. The Dasu Hydropower Project is more than a dam. It's a symbol of what's possible when innovation meets determination. So, the next time you flick on a light switch, imagine the journey that electricity took. Rushing down from the towering heights of Dasu, through turbines, along transmission lines, and into your home. Isn't that incredible? If you found this fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Have questions or thoughts about the Dasu Hydropower Project? Drop them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.